In this tutorial, I will show you how to texture paint your objects or sculpts using the painting tools in Blender Sculpt mode. And this method of painting doesn't require any UV mapping, and it also doesn't require any image textures, because we're going to be painting in Blender Sculpt mode, and this method of painting actually uses the geometry of the mesh to paint the colors on the object. Now the downside of this method is that you will need to use a very high detailed mesh, because if your object is very low poly, then the texture painting is going to look very low quality. But if you're painting an object that you've sculpted, then most likely that object is already very high poly, and so this method will work really great for painting sculpts. So for demonstration in this video, I'll be using my cute monster character sculpt, and I have a tutorial series on how to create this cute monster. If you'd like to check that out, link's in the description. So I'm going to select my sculpt, and then I'm going to click right up here, and I'll go into sculpt mode. So if I press the T key, that is going to open up the side panel right here. And I'm just going to click and drag to make this a bit bigger. And in Blender sculpt mode, we have this paint tool right here. And then we also have this smear tool, which we'll be using later. But you can just click here on the paint tool. And then you can use your mouse to do the painting if you want to. I'm going to be using my Wacom pad tablet, and I'll have some Amazon affiliate links in the description if you'd like to check out some different tablets that I recommend. So if you purchase something through those links, then I will earn a small commission, but with no extra cost to you. So now that we have the paint tool selected, you can click right up here on the color, and you can set it to whatever color you want. So I'm going to make it kind of like a purple color for the monster character. I can also make the radius bigger right here and turn the strength up. And now I can just start to paint and you can see it is painting on the object. Then I can click right up here on the color again. I'm just going to make a light pink color, and then I'll just go along here and I'll kind of tap with my tablet and start to paint this. Now you can see in this example here, the painting is looking pretty low quality. And that is because, as I mentioned earlier, it uses the geometry of the mesh to actually paint on the object. If I click right here on the sculpt mode and go to edit mode, you can see this object is pretty high detail, but it could actually be a lot more detailed. So if you want to make your sculpt higher resolution, there's a few ways to do that. You can go Go here to sculpt mode and you can use the remesh feature so you can hit the r key and you can drag the remesh and you can make this very high quality and then you can press Control r and Control r is going to remesh it and now if i start to paint here you can see it's going to be more quality because it has a lot more geometry you can see this is what the remesh has done so it's given it much more geometry and made it much more detailed i will just press Control z to undo that though because i want to show you another method so i'm going to click on sculpt mode i'll just go back to object mode and I'm going to click on add modifier and I'll add the subdivision surface modifier and it's taking a while to load up because it's already a pretty detailed mesh but we're adding a subsurf modifier onto it so right here on the viewport levels I could turn this up to like a 2 and then I can click on the drop down and click on apply so now if I go into edit mode of the object you can see this has a lot more geometry so if I click on object mode and go to sculpt mode now I can start to paint this and you can see it's going to be much higher quality now if I go back to object mode and then if I want to see this in the rendered view, I can hold down the Z button and move my mouse up into the rendered view. But you can see that our painting isn't actually showing up in the render. And this is because we need to do a very simple setup in the materials. So I'm going to click right over here on the shading workspace. And then if your object doesn't already have a new material, you can click on new here to add a new material. So to actually see the painting on the object in the rendered view, you need to press shift A, go to the search, and you can search for the color attribute node. And then if you click on the drop down, it's going to show you you all the color attributes that you've made and we've just made one of them because when we started painting it just added one so we can add this and then we just need to take the color and we can put that into the base color of our material and now if I go into the rendered mode you can actually see the painting showing up in the rendered mode so now that we've set that up I'm gonna go back to the layout here and I'll go back to sculpt mode and I could also make the color like a black color and I could kind of add like an ambient occlusion effect by just painting in some little dark areas right there in the crevices and also to be able to see this a little bit better you can go here to the viewport shading and you can change the matte cap so I might make it like a really bright color and that way I can see it a little bit better also I could maybe paint a shadow here on his chin and I can maybe paint a little shadow under the eyes so that's pretty cool and then to change the brush settings there are many different settings up here so there's the radius and strength there's also a bunch of different brush settings and some texture settings and some other settings here and also if you click over here on 
on the active tool and workspace settings, there's going to be a bunch of settings on the side panel. And again, definitely check out my texture painting for beginners tutorial if you'd like a more detailed video on texture painting. But a few settings you might want to use is like the hardness, so I could turn the hardness way up. Now you can see the edges are going to be much harder, or I could turn this hardness way down, and you can see the edges are going to be much softer. I could also turn this wet mix way up, and now if I start to paint here, you can see it's acting very smudgy. And this is a great option if you want to blur your painting, but another way to blur your painting is by clicking right here on the a smear. And you can see it's kind of smearing around the paint. And I can go back here to the painting tool, and on the wet mix here, I'm just going to turn this back to zero. And then I'll also turn the hardness up a bit so it's a bit more hard. And then another option that you can use is the tip roundness. So here's the tip roundness turned to zero, or if you turn the tip roundness up a bit, it is going to be more smooth on the edges. And if I turn the tip roundness all the way up to one, now it's basically just going to paint a circle. And if you want to use a color which you've previously used, you can hold down the S key, and it's going to select whatever color your mouse is on and then paint in that purple color. So now that I've done painting, I'll just go back to the object mode and I'll go down here into the material preview just to preview that. Now if you want to delete this painted texture or add a new one, then you can select the object and then you can click over here on the object data properties and you can open up the color attributes. And here is the color attribute that it's added. So if you want to add a new one, then you can click on the plus here and then you can give it a name. So I could call it like skin. So so I could maybe make it like a red color and then click here on OK. And then to make sure you're using the new color attribute, you can click back here on the shading workspace and you can just click on the X here and then click on the drop down on the color attribute and you can choose whichever one you've added. So here's the first one, or I can also choose this red one. And then we can just go back to the layout here and go into sculpt mode. So I could paint some little green dots here on the red skin. And if you want to get rid of the color attributes, then over here on the object data property, properties, you can select the color attribute and just hit the minus here to get rid of anyone that you want to delete. So that is how you can paint your sculpts using the painting tools in Blender Sculpt Mode. And this is a very useful tool when you want to texture paint your sculpt. And if you'd like to learn more about texture painting, then definitely check out my texture painting tutorial. And you can also check out my sculpting tutorial playlist if you'd like to learn more about sculpting. And I also have a full tutorial on how to create this cute monster character, so a link to that will be in the description. And if you'd like to help support this channel, some great ways to do that are by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. But I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and thanks for watching.